Luke, congratulations. A seesaw game went one way, then the next, what's it like in the, the, the battle moments there when you're in front, then you're level again, and then you finally go over the line? Yeah, I mean, I don't think Ryan started very well. I think I put a bit too much pressure on myself to really try and get on top of him early doors, and it didn't really happen. So I think, did it go, I think it was five all at the, the second break, and I come out of five all, I thought, oh, I'd just go nice and relaxed. I think I went eight five up, and also, then, I, then I stalled a little bit then, but yeah, to come through that is, um, I don't think it was the greatest game in the world, but beats one of Ryan's sort of abilities, but uh, Johnny, it's a, it's a big plus for me. You must be happy with where your game is right now. You're developing at a real good pace now, and we're seeing <clears> big <throat> results from you being big players on big stages. Yeah. So where is the actual game do you feel right now? Um, I'm not 100% sure I'm playing the absolute top of my ability, but what I have sort of progressed on is having a little bit more bottle, a little bit more sort of composure in big moments and stuff like that, and sort of learning to play on the big stages, which is, is it, the European Tour has been a massive, a massive help with that. Um, and yeah, and just knowing when to sort of take a step back and really sort of, um, you know, just take your time with certain things. It, 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 it's not got to be a big rush, so, um, yeah, my, my game's in a really good place. Um, yeah, I'll just, pff, I'm over the moon to just get through that, to be honest. It's been some turnaround from worrying about your tour card. I remember when we spoke, mm, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, were, yeah. you were really worried about it. Now, bordering the, the top 32, this has been some, some turnaround. What do you put that down to? Um, I've got good people around me. My family's really good to me. Uh, my wife, she's so understanding and she really supports me. My manager, Mark, is he's brilliant with me. Um, I'm not sure it's anything to do ability-wise. I think it is just more learning to be able to cope with the ups and downs of what darts is. You're not always going to go and play 105 averages. There's very few players, you Luke Humphries that can do it and whatever, but you've got to understand that at some point you're going to have drops and then you've, you've, you've got to go again. So I think that's more what it is. And like I say, just learning to deal with those sort of downs as well as, as, well as the ups. Do you feel there's a title close, whether that's a pro tour title even better, like we see Michael Decker going and win on a, a big stage because, like you said, those numbers are good, the performance is there. Yeah. Do you feel that title is close? Yeah, I mean, especially on the Pro Tour, I mean, I think if I can have a, I, obviously I'm, I've made a final, I've made a few semis and whatever, I think I've just, when I've got to that point, I've thought about it a little bit too much as what, uh, as what it means to me, but I think as, as I'm getting and playing a little bit more, I feel that I can deal with those situations a little bit better, but I've just said before, I mean, if Mike can go and win the Grand Prix, Mike's a great player, Mike. He's been playing brilliant for 18 months, but I think it says to the rest of us that haven't gone on to do something, it's possible. If you, if, if you really can put a, sort of a, a good string of games together, why, why not? Luke, congratulations. Cheers, well, thank you. Luke, it's six quarterfinals now in 2024, TV mm -hmm. quarterfinal this year, TV quarterfinal last year. How do you feel differently in yourself now compared to, say, 12, 18 months ago? Just, just, the only one put it down to is belief and believing that I can act. Not that I can do it, I've always believed I can do it, but believing that you sort of belong as it, on the tour. Whereas before I used to play and think, oh my word, you've got Gerwin Price or Van Gerwin or whatever. If I can just give a good account of myself, I'll be doing really well. But now I think well, I'll just go and beat them, go and actually play them instead of sort of looking as a fan and looking in. I think Cammy, Cameron Menzies said it before about like being a bit of a fan. But then believing you're actually part of it is, is, is a massive difference. Next up, it, it, it could have been number one seed Martin Schindler or Gerdin Price, but both of those are out. So it's okay. Daryl Gurney or Dirk from Diving Boulder. Okay. Are you someone who looks at the draw and sees those big names go out and think this is a real opportunity? No, I didn't even know. I knew I had. Um, I knew my first round game against um, Ross, and then I knew I had the winner of Ryan Seal and Barney. After that, I have not looked. So, I mean, yeah, but every, everyone's capable on the tour. People think because the top seeds have gone out or whatever, or the higher seeds have gone out, then it opens, it doesn't. They're, they're, everyone's a, such a good player, so it doesn't really matter to me. I'm, I'm gonna go tomorrow and uh, prepare for the game as if I'd play number one in the world. With that preparation, you're obviously first on today, so you've got all of today to get ready for tomorrow. So is mm -hmm. there anything that you'll do to make sure you are ready for what could be what you'd hope is a very long day? Yeah, probably just go back and sleep, to be honest. <laughs> probably go back to the hotel. I mean, yeah, um, I, I, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not somebody that has routines and whatever. I just want to go back, relax, uh, put a bit of film on or something, maybe go for some food and stuff later and then just and see what happens. I'm, I'm quite happy, to be honest, that 
we're playing again tomorrow because we had a, obviously I played Thursday night and and then I've had a break yesterday and then you just you're just hanging about really just going for some food looking for something to do and so I, at least I know tomorrow I'm going to be straight back on the board and, and, and getting ready for my game. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, thank you very much.